What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, today we are continuing with the RP series and the quest system. Today we are going to be creating actual tasks that will be putting in our quest. It's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so let's go into our quest system and what we are going to do is right click, go into blueprints and create a new structure. Let's call this S underscore and quest. Um, uh, you know, let's say objective. Let's say quest objective, right? I said task in the intro, but I think objective will match a bit better. So each um, objective will basically include a name. So name slash um, aim. So what you have to do, right? And this will be a string. And then we're gonna be adding some more things, okay? So for example, uh, if it's complete or not, Go ahead and split this here. Boolean is completed. And we're going to be adding more stuff. For now, let's do it like that with the core elements. And we are going to go into our structure for a quest. And we're going to be adding a new variable. So this is what it, every quest contains. And we're going to be having all of our um, objectives. All right, so this will be objectives. And now I can search for S underscore uh, slot null. Sorry about that. Uh, it is objective. If, how did I? Uh, oh, S underscore quest. Quest objective. I don't know how to type since today. There we go. And I'm going to put this as an array because it's going to be a list. So now, as you can see, we can start adding. I also list, uh, fill in the default uh, description for it. So the name will be like quest name, this uh, quest description. This will be like this and like this. And we'll have. Uh, one objective objective one so this is just to leave some values as default so when we create a new quest it's like it's not like completely empty and we have some you know temporary text so it looks a bit better um so with that said let's go and also add it into the ui so what we are going to be doing is create a new widget blueprint and it's going to be a new uh there will be underscore it's going to be objective uh, well, yeah, quest objective um yeah slot we're gonna put slot but i think that's uh, need to be a slot so now we can just go and search for a canvas panel add it into the hierarchy so now we can start placing things and we are going to just get a image drag it and extend it and uh, so we hold control pick the big one and in the tint let's put it darker and put the alpha 2.3 something like that and then let's get a text drag it inside and just leave the position X and Y to be here. And let's change the uh, screen to be on the side. So we just fill on the uh, you know space needed. Uh, let's also put a checkbox. So this will be added. Let's see uh, around here. And let's put this in the left corner here. Okay. I'm gonna put the position Y and X to be zero zero. But then in the alignment, let's put this at uh, Y 0.5. So it'll be perfectly in the center and then for the text block let's make the font a bit smaller so maybe 17 is a bit better let's align this in the center and we can also just go ahead and start you know putting the position where is it x a bit more into the right so have a bit more of space here and also the um, uh, size y we can also decrease a bit and then also the position y decreases so it's more in the alignment with our checkbox and this checkbox is simply just basically you know gonna be ticked if it's completed or not as you may imagine in position uh, x let's put a bit more to the right so it's a bit of margin and i think with that it's gonna be good so we can say completed checkbox and make sure that it's variable is ticked uh, image this used to be the background okay and it's variable let's delete it not delete, not but uncheck it because we are not gonna have a reference to this background. And then on text, let's put an objective text and make sure to have this variable on because we're gonna be changing that text depending on what it is. And actually, let's make it a bit bigger so there's more room uh, into the game, you know. Uh, great. So, with that said, we are ready to be spawning this. So, basically, let's close everything except this and let's open the quest giver panel uh, so the quest giver now it's gonna be the where is it, where is it? i mean we should also do it in the quest giver so we're gonna have a list of things here but also we will need to put it in the, basically in the one that we get 
on here, right? So the active quest a widget. So we go into the third person got the blueprint and we go into the BPC quest, uh, which I do have to search it here. So quest system, BPC quest. Oh, did I create it in, in blueprints? Yeah, all right, let's drag it into the uh, which, which quest system folder. So move there. And now it's a bit more organized. Let's open that. As you can see here, we have created the widget. So it's basically this widget, which is in UI. Let me move it again into quest system. I don't know why they created there. But basically, that's the UI that we also need to add. Um, so first of all, let's go into the quest. Let's close this. Quest giver. And we basically have to create here a vertical box. Okay, so we're gonna have all the goals over here, or objectives, however you wanna call it. And basically, we're gonna make that, that size around. And I'm gonna make it inside the quest details panel. Okay, make sure that's inside. And then I change this to be objectives, vertical box, is variable is ticked. So now, when this is assigned, we can go and create that. So let's go into the graph, and when we select the quest, we will also need to add all the necessary stuff, of course. So in this case, we are getting this quest here. Let me also go here and break it. And what we're going to do is get the list of objectives. So make a for each loop. So we'll go through all the objectives that I have right now. And for each one, let's just split this. So we have the uh, the name and also the completed. So the two things that we create for the structure. And we're going to be adding or well, creating a widget just here and this will be the objective quest objective there and then on here we're gonna basically add it into the uh, vertical box so up to this vertical box it's very similar to what we did with the other times so a child and I think it's a child to vertical box but I think a child just does work <laughs> and then you just plug that there so it will be added there and right now if I press play it should Add one, I believe. We added it temporarily, so let me select one. Yes, yeah, so now we have one over here, and it's a child. Um, and of course, we'll have to set the values in here. So we'll set the name. So we'll be actually search it, open this up. Uh, so it'll be a text block, objective test. Okay, so it's not name is set uh, objective test. So you get objective text. There we go. And now we set the text of this. All right, there we go. Plug it there. Now be that text here. The name aim. And then if it's completed or not, well, we will need to also assign it. So we can just get the checkbox and then set. And I believe it is the state. Check state this. And this will depend on what we are. Okay, so let's make here. Sorry, make it not. Um, so I'm going to do is actually a. We can do select, but I prefer use the branch. So if this is uh, true, it will be checked. But if it's not true, it will be unchecked. And this will do it through all the ones. Okay, and we have to also plug in checkbox here. And then we're gonna add a bit more of stuff. So let's go into quest giver into the quests. And then let's add, for example, the first one objectives. Let's add also another one. So now we have two things here. Let's add also another one. And let's add another one. So we're gonna have um, four things to do. And let's just have objective. And it's gonna be two, three, and four. As simple as that. Let's put the uh, first two to be checked and then the other two to not be checked just to test okay so now if I go here and go into this first one you can see that now we have the, all the different objectives and the first two are checked of course I can click it so we have to go into the quest objective thing go to the checkbox and make sure that is focusable is disabled so we cannot click it and let's also go into the quest gear widget and on here when we add it so be before the branch uh, we're gonna set the padding as we did with the other one so we can now just break this and put some padding in the top so like uh, 10 for example you can play around with the setting so now i can go into here selected and you can see i have some padding and stuff too uh, so now we have all the objectives that our quests will have so of course you can start to add them and put them and so on but still we have 
one more thing to do to also of course add it in the active quest panel there so let's go into the um where is it quest i don't even know which quest this but so many things now there we go quest hud here it is um so on here we're going to do is actually you know expand both of this down so i can just get the background put a bit down here so let's do this size y and then the background blur is paste this and then let's get a vertical box drag it around here put it here make it this size maybe and then change the name to be objectives vertical box make sure it's variable sticked and with that we can go back into the quest giver and when we select the button and so on we can start to add them into the widget of course the widget is done in the uh, quest giver bp so we're going to be going to the quest giver bp no that's not what we want uh where is the quest giver uh, bpc there we go that's what i meant and then what to do is create a new custom event which will be a set of objectives and basically what we are going to do actually that should be done in the inside the widget so the only thing i'm going to do is get the widget and i'm going to call a special event so let's go here graph delete all this a custom event which is going to be fill objectives actually i prefer fill objectives and then we're gonna go and you just get the vertical box and you just add a child and then we can pass on that new thing so we create widget pretty much what we did with the other one okay and this will be a for loop for each loop and this should be passed as an array of uh what was it it was well, objectives objectives and then s underscore um objectives cost objective there you go and then we can use uh basically sorry this this should be already the array let's plug it there into the array and then it will do that for each one and then let's go and just really copy what we had there in the quest giver widget so uh here so we'll do all this so we set the text at the padding and we'll be check here um so let's do that so let's also get this too go back uh, to the quest hud add it here and then just paste this here and then the string should be this one which will break we'll get the here and then the completed should be in this branch and then this should be assigned to here so get text oh we did we haven't had a class objective plug it here now there we go and then that should be so we are now going to go into the bpc quest and here's it will be fill objectives and the objective should be the active quest. You should break it and get the the objectives. It's past, past the array, okay? Okay, great. And then on here, we should also, uh, so here it will set the quest text. We should also set the objective. So in here, I believe it is doing it in the, let's let set active quest, yes. So we should also in here do the set objectives of the BC quest which I can just directly plug in here. And now, yes, it will be able to fill in all the things that we need. So press play, go here, select a quest. So you can see we have the stuff, select quest. And now, okay, that did not do anything. <laughs> okay, um, I thought, yeah, so we are calling from here the uh, set objectives for that quest there. And then the BC quest, we're basically in the hot widget and we'll fill in the objectives, passing that array. Uh, I believe that we are setting the, yes, the current quest, which is important before. And then also uh, in the HUD, we're getting that array of objectives and we're going through them and then creating a widget 
I only child and oh there we go so I forgot to put the reference to content and um, that's why so now I can just go back here select the quest and as you can see we have all the objectives there so that's already pretty cool so that's it for this video if you found it helpful I would really appreciate you could video and subscribe to my channel uh, profiles will be available on my Patreon and YouTube members, so check them out. Join my Discord server, uh, follow me on my socials, and now, yes, with all that said, bye-bye.